The gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Wilson. The gentleman from South Carolina is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for your leadership on behalf of military family service members and veterans to our country. The military personnel titles of the 13 National Defense Authorization Act are a product of an open, bipartisan process. These personnel titles provide our warfighters, veterans, and military families the care and support they deserve, additionally ensuring that proposed drawdown plans do not cut to the heart of the Army and Marine Corps. Specifically, this year's proposal will first authorize a troop pay increase of 1.7 percent and extend bonuses and special pay. Additionally, limit the end strength reduction for the active Army and Marine Corps. Also provide significant new regulations for combating sexual assault within the military and extend access to family housing and commissary and exchange benefits for troops who are involuntarily separated. Additionally, we will extend some TRICARE benefits to members of the selected reserve who are involuntarily separated. And finally, make clear that the non-military contributions to health care benefits through a career of service represent prepayment of health care premiums in retirement. In conclusion, I want to thank Ranking Member Congresswoman Susan Davis and her staff for her contributions in this process. We are joined, of course, by dedicated members of the subcommittee. Their recommendations are clearly reflected in this mark. And finally, I want to appreciate the service and dedication of the subcommittee majority staff, John Chapla, Deborah Wada, Jeanette James, Mike Higgins, Craig Green, and Jim Weiss, along with my military legislative assistant, Chad Sidnor, and military fellow Marine Master Gunnery Sergeant Michelle King. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 4310. I yield back the time.